Okay, so as you can see from this video here, I am trying to access my Instagram app, but um, it's not working. It's not just that it doesn't work on the app, it also doesn't work on a browser. So right now I'm on the Chrome browser, and if I you know, try to access Instagram, it's going to say the site cannot be reached. Now the reason why all of this is possible is because of this website, the NextDNS website. NextDNS is an online firewall service that helps you control your internet. And as you can see over here, it says it protects you from all kinds of security threats, it blocks ads and trackers on websites and in apps, and provides a safe, supervised internet for kids on all devices and on all networks. So I'm just going to log into my account so I can show you guys how to set it up. So you guys can just register on the website. I'll leave a link in the description. But before you go, well, I just need to show you guys how it works and all the settings that you need to apply. So I'm not using it on my laptop right now. I'm only using it on my Android device. So you can see over here, it says this device is not using next DNS. All right, so there are lots of settings that you get on this website, but um, just to give you an overview of the way it works, you just need to, you know, have a list of apps and websites you do not want your phone to be able to access or your laptop. And now, uh, yeah, the DNS is going to do the rest of the work for you. Now, I made one video a while back, I think about two months ago, that I talked about how to block adult websites on your Android device. Well, this is just like that. All you have to do is just apply the DNS to your device. And I'm going to show you guys a step-by-step -step way of doing it so you don't need to worry. All right, so the first tab we're going to work with is the security tab. And um, these are all the options that you get on the security tab. So I'm going to talk about some of them, not all, because you can just read all of this to understand what they do. But uh, let me just talk about the ones that I have activated. So the first one I activated is this one. And you can see over here, it says it blocks domains known to distribute malware, launch phishing attacks, and um, host command and control servers using a blend of the most reputable threats, intelligence feeds, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> All right, so what this is just doing is that any website that um, maybe you try to access via maybe emails that are sent to you, and um, if they are bad websites, like they have malware and all that stuff that you could accidentally download, well, this DNS server is going to block that. All right, so I didn't activate this one because it's still in the beta phase, so I'm just going to leave it for now. And then we have um, Google Safe Browsing. Now, this one will block malware as well, but this time it is not using um, Next DNS. It is using the websites that have been classified by Google as not safe for browsing. So that's it. Then we have um, crypto jacking protection. So it's going to prevent your devices from being used for mining crypto. And this happens when some websites try to use your device to mine crypto so they can make money from it and you don't get anything. All they do is just use your computer's resources to make money for themselves. So this option is used to block websites that have characters that look like you know, websites that you're familiar with. Now, there was a time back when somebody created a website like Apple, apple.com. You guys know Apple, iOS. So somebody created a website with the same title, with the same domain address, the www.apple.com. But the A was not an actual A. It's another character that I don't even remember the name of. So people will go to that website and think that's the official um, Apple website, but it was not. But eventually, it was you know discovered and they shut down the website. So with the um, next DNS, it's going to stop all those kind of websites from being accessible on your device. We have the rest of the options here. You can just go through them and um, activate or deactivate the ones that you do not need. The last one I activated is this one that um, yeah you can tell by what they have written here that yeah should be blocked so the next tab is the privacy tab and um, i have activated a few things here but um, for you you're not going to get any of these all you have to do is just click on add a block list now this is going to bring up some um, dns servers now these dns servers they have their own list of website addresses and different kind of queries that have been you know, blacklisted. So whenever your device tries to connect to any of those websites, then these DNS servers will block them. So for me, I activated next DNS ads and trackers block list and um, ad guard DNS filter because I'm familiar with this and this one is for the website itself. So you can have other ones that you can add to the list, but just don't add too many. So yeah, I only added these two and they've been working perfectly for me. Alright, so the next one is native tracking protection. So the reason why I activated this is because on my device, I use a Xiaomi device and as you can see over here, it says Xiaomi. Xiaomi has ads 
that display on some apps that I use like the file manager app and so many other apps so with this I just um, clicked on add and I just added Xiaomi to it and uh, since then all the ads stopped displaying so you can go over the list and look for your device and you can add it to the list finally we have this one blog disguised uh, third-party trackers which I don't really know how this one works but uh, yeah I activated it anyways all right so this option is one I feel like yeah most people are going to need because if you're a parent and you want to stop your kids from accessing websites they're not supposed to well this is where you're going to get to the best options so as you can see over here this is where I was able to block Instagram I also blocked tinder it's not like i'm on tinder i just you know decided to add it to the list so next dns has a list of um, apps and websites that uh, you can easily block and yeah so i activated on tinder and then instagram but if you want them to stop using tiktok then you add this to the list and facebook and snapchat you know there are lots of websites here that uh yeah i'm sure many people spend a lot of time on so anyway you don't want like your kids or yourself not just your kids to spend too much time on you can just come here and then click on add and it will be added to the list so for example facebook you can just click on add and you see it down here but uh, i don't ever use facebook so there's no need all right so over here we have the categories and um, if you tap on it you can see that i've already added this one but uh, yeah there are other categories of websites that you may you know not want your kids to access so for me i activated this if you don't want them to access gambling websites you can just add it to the list and so on so over here you have the recreation time now this is the time you want them to be able to access the websites that you blocked from here if you tap on this or click depends if you're on a phone or a laptop you can see that this list has been created for you so this means that every day they'll be able to access those websites by 6 pm to 8 pm so two hours 30 minutes but uh, you may say I only want them to be able to access webs, uh, Facebook, Instagram during the weekends, so Saturdays and Sundays, and from 9 a.m. to 8.30 p.m. So, you know, that's roughly the whole day, but not when they're supposed to be asleep. So you can just select this and then you click on save. And if you come up here, you see that, yeah, these two are grayed out. Oh, okay, you can also allow this, but, uh, well, I need to know, but now I do. Anyway, so you see these two are grayed out. So if you tap on this, it will be green. And it means that this, this one can be accessed at 6, 9 a.m. to 8.30 p.m. on Saturdays and Sundays. But Tinder cannot be accessed. So yeah, that's how it works. So you can go through the list. So you can decide to do it the way you want. And then we have enforce safe search. So this is just going to stop them from seeing you know images and videos they're not supposed to when they use search engines like google yahoo bing dr go and others so we also have um, youtube restricted mode so i activated this just to test it out and um, i was not able to comment on any video on youtube so yeah if you activate this they will not be able to comment on videos finally we have the block bypass methods so you know some people are smart enough to try to stop next dns from working if they don't know about the dns server so so they may try to use things like vpns or proxies it says over here that they may try to bypass the filtering um, function by using vpns or proxies or tor related software but then um, if you activate this then there is no way to bypass it at least as far as i know so yeah all right next we have the deny list so here you can include websites that you don't find here and um, you can if you block them from here they will not be able to access the websites that's just what it means and it also means that they will not be able to access the subdomains now if you do not know what a subdomain is then um, just imagine you can go to yahoo.com and you can also go to mail.yahoo.com all right so yahoo.com is the domain and then that mail is the subdomain so yeah everything is going to be blocked that's what it means and then here you have the allow list so you can impute websites that you are sure that yeah no problem this is a good website to be accessed okay analytics these are for me because i've been using it for like i think four days now march 22nd that's when i started using this service and today is the 27th so yeah this is how long i've been using this service and so far so good so these are the domains that have been blocked so far i haven't even seen this yet all right so next we have the logs and uh, here you can see all the list of 
websites and services that have been blocked. But anyways, if you don't want the logs, then you can tap on settings and then you can disable the logs. And you can select how long you want the logs to stay if you actually want to keep them. So this one says three months. Oh uh, yeah, you can leave it that way. And um, the logs are stored, so you can select where you want them to be stored and then you can download the logs if you want. And then we have all these other options that, uh, yeah, I'm not really sure if I want to talk about them. All right, so the last thing I want to talk about in terms of the settings is that um, you can create different configurations. So for example, this one is called my first configuration. Now, if maybe you just want to have one for yourself and one for maybe your kids, then you'll be able to create them. So in order to create one, you just need to come up here, you then click on new, and then you give it a name and then you go through all the settings to specify how you want it to work and if you want to delete anyone you scroll all the way down when you're on the settings tab and then you click on delete my configuration all right so that's how you set it up and now i'm going to show you guys how to set it on your android device now i'm only going to talk about the android device but if you want me to talk about how to set it up on a computer then let me know in the comments but um for what it's worth you can see the setup guides here so this is i'm using a windows computer so you can either download the software and use it or you use any of the options that are down here but since i'll be using an android device i'll show you guys how it works on my phone now okay so i'm on my phone right now so i just need to swipe down to see the notification panel and then tap this gear icon next i'm going to search for dns and then i'll tap on private dns and then you see down here, I've already imputed the DNS server and um, it's the same as what you can see on the uh, website, which is over here. So after doing that, you just need to tap on save. And that's it. From then on, the websites are going to get blocked. The website that you have specified on the next DNS server. So for you, it may be an Apple device. So you just need to select Apple and then you find out how to use the app. Alright, so the final thing I want you guys to know is that if you come over here and you select your account, you see that you have 300,000 queries for free. Now these queries are like each time NextDNS blocks a website or a service or an app. So as you can see over here, for the past 5 days that I've been using it, I've used 28,000 queries. Now this is because some websites will have so many queries coming in and um, NextDNS will have to block all of them. So that's why it's this much. But I mean, 28 within five days. So if my math is, okay, my math is horrible, but that should be like five point something thousand queries a day. So if you multiply that by 30 days, I think that's 150,000 queries per month for me, that is. So it depends on how you use it and on how many devices you use it. So by the time that you exhaust all the queries, then you may have to, you know get the unlimited version of this service and it costs two dollars per month now like i said this depends on how many devices you'll be using it and how often you use the service so after you input this dns server on your device then it's not going to work immediately because for me it took me around maybe five minutes before it started working so i'll suggest that you wait for like five to ten minutes and then you'll see that it, it works so yeah don't freak out if it doesn't work immediately Alright, so I believe that's all for this video. If you guys found it helpful, make sure you give me a like. And then if you have questions regarding this or any other stuff, you know, at least it will give me an idea of the next video to make. So yeah, leave them in the comments. Alright, I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.